process which we are uh, going to start and this going to be ccsa and ccse correct so give me just one moment let me just open my uh, notepad and then we'll start till the time if you guys do not have a pen and paper just have it and make this thing a habit that whenever you come to the class you should have a pen and paper okay Okay, I'm sharing my screen. Just confirm if you guys can see my screen, okay? Yeah, because it's, it's visible. It's visible, right? So, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Because your voice is not audible. Is yeah. it audible now? Yes. Okay. So we do have approximately eight participants, and um, I can see four out of eight are saying that they are already working with the uh, working with the network security or working in network security. So it's it's good like if you are already working in the net of security so it's good it will be very easy for you to understand the things otherwise my uh, basic uh, you know approach is like uh, 
I always uh, try to start the things or concepts from zero, and I will drag that concept from to the hundredth level. All right. So in the last demo lecture, uh, who all are there in the uh, demo? Yeah, it's me. Yes, I am with Sarah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Mir was not there in the demo session. Okay, no issues. Mm -hmm. Okay, many people are, people are saying that uh, they were not there in the demo session so no issues uh we'll, we'll start from uh zero today okay so this is going okay le before starting before starting the our conversation let me uh let me start from the basics okay what we are going to cover so this is checkpoint class okay and if you uh ask me about the checkpoint in checkpoints the first certification or first course which we have or which checkpoint have is called CCSA. CCSA stands for Checkpoint Certified Network Administrator, which is CCSA. And CCSA is, I would say, equivalent to CCNA plus 25% of CCNP level you will be finding your self-understanding in this particular CCSA course. And if you talk about CCSE, this is CCNP advanced level course, right? So if you have done the CCNP advanced level, then similar sort of concept you will be getting in this CCSC also. So in this particular course, which we are starting from today, we will be covering the CCSA and CCSE both, okay? We will pick one particular topic, will start from zero, will drag it till the CCSA level, then will drag it till the CCSE level, and then till the 100 path means the basics, the advanced plus the T shoot. All the three aspects we will be covering in this particular classes. Okay. So if you have joined this particular batch, do not worry. That's my uh, job to give you all the understanding uh, about the checkpoint. Now, some of the people say that they are very much confused whether they should learn the checkpoint or not. Let me tell you, checkpoint is one of the leaders. We do have three leaders only, Palo Alto, Fortinet, and the checkpoint. And if you are learning one of the leaders technology, believe me, it, it's going to be very helpful to everyone, all right? It's not very small technology you are going to learn. And you know what? It's my personal experience. If, if you compare Checkpoint with these two technologies, Checkpoint is very, very, very easy to understand. Checkpoint makes much more understanding in comparison, in comparison to other two firewalls. Why? The first thing is, because checkpoint is not a zone based firewall. If you talk about the Palo Alto network, 48, they are zone based firewall. There are a lot of concepts which will be used as the zones. But here in checkpoint, we do not have any concept of zones. If you want to, uh, if, okay, if you want to uh, learn a, a, a good firewall where your firewall understandings, where your security level understandings, uh, standings, 
like accelerates you can you can start from checkpoint if you are new to security i would highly recommend to start your career from checkpoint and there is huge demand in the market of the checkpoint engineers the reason a reason because checkpoint needs practice okay checkpoint is not very 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 hard to understand but to get hold of the things you need to do the practice believe me if you are the one person who believes that he can do the practice checkpoint do can do magic for you it has done magic for me it has done the magic to for, for my students now you are in the line if you are ready to do the practice if you are ready to do or follow my instructions believe me it will do the magic for you all right okay now let's start from where the checkpoint started so they started their journey from 1990 okay 1990 they started their journey and they started with a anti virus protection this was the generation 1 of checkpoint all right then after 10 years they launched the firewall so i can say after cisco checkpoint was one of those people or one of those companies who launched their firewall in 2000s okay they are not very new in the market they are very old in the market then in 2010 they have come up with the ips protection then 2015 behavioral analysis then 18 21 and so many things are going on okay so they are not very small company they are not very you know uh, limited to only one single product they have very vast brochure and they are doing the innovation day by day tell me one thing how many of you have heard about uh this term how many of you have heard about it stateful inspection hmm have you heard it or not yes yes, yes. you have heard right at least the people who are working in network security they have heard this stateful inspection do you know who developed this hmm? on checkpoint checkpoint developed it back in 90 98 or 97 somehow i'm not exactly sure about the year but near about the, these years they have developed the stateful inspection and nowadays if you are talking about the next generation firewall they all are using this stateful inspection who developed it checkpoint developed it why because they have one of the biggest r and d team in the market they have too many vendors are working right in the market but if you talk about the r and d team they have the biggest r&d team in the market and that's the reason you you can see too many things they have developed and too many things are there for the or, or like it's it's open source and sometime it's patented sometime it's internal use you will you will see in this particular course we will discuss a lot of things for an example secure excel what is secure excel secure excel accelerates the security processing of the firewall core excel what is core excel core excel means it accelerates the course it engages all the course simultaneously so that you will be getting a brilliant processing of the firewall course right these two do like cluster excel cluster excel you can add up to eight firewalls i have not seen any single firewall technology who says you can add up to eight firewall in a failover in a redundancy 
you can here in checkpoint you can create up to eight how because these technologies it it's been developed by checkpoint and it's patented by checkpoint it's for internal use whereas stateful inspection it is being developed by checkpoint but it's for all of the it's for community basically okay so i hope you can understand that you if you if you are going to learn checkpoint it will not be a very small technology to learn it's going to be a master technology and you will be master in coming to or 2.5 months all right okay now because sir, yeah in yes, the please. core itself if you want to say core means cpu core uh, correct course, correct correct right CPU, and yeah. cluster you want to say devices right devices correct so it will manage the devices and core uh, yes, yes, parallel yes. yes okay Thank you. It's a it's a patented registered technology by che checkpoint what you can do in the firewall you can enable these uh, these technologies and the moment you will be enabling this your firewall efficiency will increase okay yeah we'll discuss these these things in very much detail in our in our classes we'll do the lab for these we will see the troubleshooting of these particular technologies what are the advantages what are the disadvantages of these technologies we'll see all of them don't worry about it uh, and just for asking uh, by any chance are we going to uh, talk about mho that is the checkpoint new technology what exactly mho 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 no no that is not part of ccs and ccsc uh, no but uh, uh, a uh, bit uh, discussion about the mho how it's work exactly see about the like bit discussion i will be discussing lot of things for example here you can see after the ccsa you have vsx and msx okay all okay. right so these are not part of our syllabus but definitely i will be discussing these two also okay so we will be discussing lot of things about the checkpoint don't worry about it okay okay thank you yeah all right so the thing is let let's start from basics uh, so the people who were already there in the previous lecture they already know about this this so what is a firewall basically but let's start from here okay because i can see a lot of people are there new new uh, they have joined new so let's start from the zero and i will be considering this lecture as a lecture 1 and uh, from here i will be starting the classes so yes like in, uh, uh, how many participants we have approximately 12 participants we have what do you understand with the firewall i'm not talking about the next generation firewall i'm not talking about any other firewall simple firewall what do you understand anyone have any definition any understanding of the firewall in your mind speak it out anyone a uh, firewall just uh, can control the traffic we can, we can allow the legitimate traffic on the firewall from the outside to inside uh, my servers or inside to outside okay okay that kind of control we can do on the firewall like uh, granular level control we can do on the firewall like the you mean to say this control allowed. traffic control the traffic even okay. in, in the next generation we have a No, uh, I'm not talking about next generation. Leave okay. it, leave it, L leave so it. The next generation, in, the firewall. In the, in the in the firewall, we can control the traffic from the outside to inside or inside to outside. Okay. okay. How you can do that? By creating the firewall rules, ACL can say. By creating the ACLs, correct. Right. Yeah. Now a question, a question to the people who are mm. new today. the question is not for the old people who have attended the last class the question for the people at which layer this firewall works of the osi model anyone it's on the network level and uh, transport level layer 3 and even the application application level also that is the next generation level. firewall i'm talking about the firewall simple firewall So it's a uh, transport transport level, network and transport level. Okay. Anyone else? Layer three or layer four? Layer three and layer. Four. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Layer three and layer four. 
and uh, for application related uh, it's on layer 7 correct 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 perfect tell me one thing do we not have a device named router have you heard yeah. about this yes sir yes yes on which layer this router this device exist layer 3 layer 3 okay not on layer 4 uh, yeah it's a layer 4 so it's also layer 4 okay so means this firewall as well as this router both are on the layer 3 and layer 4 right yes sir mm -hmm. okay you mentioned that on the firewall i can control the traffic that is totally correct. And how we can do that with creating the ACL. What is ACL? A firewall rule, we can call it, right? Yeah. ACL means access control list, right? Mm -hmm. What we do, we create that, that the statement. Basically, we do on the firewall. And on the basis of this ACL, we can, what we can do? We can control the traffic. That control from this particular subnet to this subnet, the traffic is allowed. That's fine. But tell me one thing. Can I not create an ACL on router? Yeah, you can do. I can do? Yes, yes. Everyone agrees about this that I can do, I can create the ACL on the router also? Yes, yes sir. sir. Agree. agree, right? And there is no limitation from the Cisco or from the any other window uh, vendor that how many ACL I can control, uh, I can create on the router, right? How, like as much as I can, uh, I want, I can create the ACL on the router. Right. So the question is, the question is, if I had a device called router on the layer three and layer four level, which can create ACL, why I needed a whole new device who is doing, who is doing exactly the same work which my router was doing? Correct. So we cannot um, uh, uh, monitor the traffic of layer seven. This application layer. See layer seven. I have not gone to till layer seven. I'm not talking about the next generation firewall. I'm talking about the traditional firewall. Okay. Sir. okay. Can I try to answer? Yeah, yeah. Please go on. Uh, this in and it's not. <laughs> it's not like Pradeep only can answer. Anyone. Anyone who is new today, they can answer whatever you have in your mind. This session needs to be interactive. Otherwise, you will be feeling sleepy after 15-20 minutes. Okay. So speak it out. Be on unmute if you can and speak it out. Yes, please. Yes, Pradeep. Yeah, what, I, what I'm saying, what I'm thinking, the router having the routing role and firewall having the firewall role. Uh -huh. So router we have generally used for the routing. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, though uh, we can create a SL on the router, but mm -hmm. the for the security purpose we have a firewall and routing purpose we have a router and mm -hmm. one more thing as you uh, uh, there is no that uh, stateful inspection feature not in the firewall uh, router mm -hmm. it is only in the firewall okay anyone else anything any theory in your mind do not hesitate. Do not think you will be incorrect. You will be saying incorrect or something. Say it out. Uh, yes, Irshad Abhishek, you were saying something? Anyone? Uh, sir, uh, for fire, in firewall, we have a uh, uh, stateful inspection. In router, we do not have. Okay, that is the next generation so firewall, that's but that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, correct. What else? Yes, because we can simply say that router only routes the traffic, whereas mm -hmm. firewall pro, uh, provides security to the traffic. It can actually uh, monitor or scan, even scan the traffic, which is to be allowed or not by creating a rule. Okay. So same thing we can create by the ACL on the router also, no? Yes, but... Uh, in router, we... Uh, route, route. Guys, one by one, please. One by one, yeah. Yes, please, go on. 
because in uh, router we can uh, traffic forwarded based on the IP and firewall we uh, traffic can inspect the at the every packet can inspect on the firewall. Okay. Any anything else? Okay. So Pradeep, the definition Pradeep has given was approximately like 80% that statement was correct. And Pradeep has mentioned that indeed we can we can do the same operation which firewall is doing from the from the router also, right? But router is not meant for filtration of traffic. What is the core work of router? The core work is to, to do what? To do the routing. Understood? What is the basic fundamental of router? What for which particular purpose this router has been designed? It is being designed to do the routing. Okay. It's not designed to do the filtration of traffic, although it has an additional capability of filtration of the traffic, but it's not the core fundamental of this. So if you will be creating a huge number of ACLs on the router, the main fundamental, the main work of the router, which is routing, will may deviate from its path. If let's suppose if you have created approximately 300, 400, 500, 800 ACLs on the router, your routing get delayed. You will feel slowness in that case. Understood or not? Everyone? Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. So that's the reason we needed one firewall, one another device who is dedicatedly can do the filtration of the traffic. Understood? Now, you understood, right? Why we needed the firewall. Now, let's come here. Let's understand this. This is a firewall. Right? Here. So whenever I will be drawing this sort of diagram, the left side always will be a LAN and this will be a VAN. This is my internet and this is my server. Okay. Let's suppose this is 8.8.8.8. Correct. This is my PC. And this PC on this PC, a person is sitting name Golu Singh. What is the name? Golu Singh. All right. So tell me one thing. Whenever Golu Singh wants to access this 8.8.8.8 or maybe google.com, what will be the process which will be followed throughout the network so that Golu Singh can have the access of this google.com? Anyone have any idea? Uh, uh, you mean to say uh, how uh, the policing will access the Google? Right? Correct, correct. So, uh, if you go to the firewall, it will filter okay. by the uh, okay. let, let me access you. rule. See, yes. the moment. Is yes, correct. You're also correct. So, let me explain. The moment Golusing will go on the browser and it will type google.com, the first thing which will be happening will be the DNS lookup. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. What will be the first thing will be happening? 
the dns okay. dns look up means its pc need to have one ip address for google.com correct because the pc does not understand what is google.com it understands the number the ips so it's it will do the dns look up after the dns look up the second thing will happen the tcp handshake right the tcp handshake from the uh, golu sync pc to the server once the tcp handshake is done the third thing will be happening ssl handshake right ssl handshake will be happening and after the ssl handshake the fourth operation will be http get request will go over the ssl understood hmm yes yes so what is happening the moment dns lookup will be happening golu sync will be having a one one uh, uh, ip address which is 8.8.8 so golu sync pc have the source and the destination both it will initiate the communication it will do do the tcp handshake now after the tcp handshake golu sync will be having a session created between the source and the destination but over the internet but this session is plain text so after the ssl handshake golu sync will be making this session as encrypted session what session it will be encrypted session and now over this encrypted session the http get request will go and you will be getting the google space till here everything is clear hmm yes okay so i am rubbing this out this was basic actually so let me come to the que- like biggest question now okay so we understand that dns lookup will happen so let's talk about the tcp handshake first of all tcp in the tcp what happens generally a sin request will go from the client to the server right and this sin request will come to the firewall on the firewall the policy lookup the net lookup the routing lookup everything will come we'll see right everything will be checked correct or not yes on the firewall every aspects will be checked right what are those aspects will be checking in the packet flow after some time but for understanding just understand there are certain operation like policy lookup net lookup routing source net destination net vpn lookup everything will be happening right so let's suppose to process this packet firewall has taken one second although this one second is very high for the real time environment but for understanding let's take one second okay or let's take two seconds two second to process this packet after this this packet has been processed and forwarded towards the google dot now google will send what the second packet is from server to source and that is sync sync plus sync yeah again this packet will come to the firewall again everything so this is traditional firewall this is traditional firewall so again this synac will come to the firewall firewall will do all the things again and again 2 seconds right and it will come to here then the last from the source will be ack again 2 seconds right now understand this this server has to send the 100 packet from source to destination right to get to provide the google space to the source then the sin plus ack and this ack and the sin these were total how many packets three packets and 100 packet is this which is for google's page so 100 plus 
how many packet 103 and to process one packet it's taking two seconds two total how many seconds to process all the 103 packets this firewall needs how many seconds Zero six. Zero six. Is it clear, right? Any doubt, anyone? Okay. This is clear, right? Now, this was your traditional firewall, right? Now, let's discuss your next generation firewall. Same scenario? Same go losing? Same internet? Same servo, same sin, right? Similar sin will go from source to the destination. Same operation will be performed again two seconds. But here is one catch. After the two seconds, this traffic will be forwarded towards the destination. But because we have the next generation firewall this time, what it says, it says, if the traffic is allowed, in that case, policy is there, right? That's the reason this packet was allowed. On the firewall, we do have a policy that's the reason this packet was allowed. So, on the basis of this policy, I am going to create one what? Session table entry. What is the session table entry? Session table entry is the entry where firewall maintains six tuple. Six tuple means six type of information. The first is source IP source port, destination IP, destination port, protocol, direction. What is it? Right? These six information will be maintained in the session table when the session table entry will be maintained when the first packet of the communication has been passed by the, by the firewall so this sin is already passed by the firewall in two seconds now the session table entry has been created that source ip is go losing pc destination ip is this google server 8.8.8 .8 .8. destination I, uh, source port is random any port destination port is 443 uh, protocol is TCP, direction is outgoing. Simple. Understood, everyone? Yes. Any doubt in this? No, sir. No, sir. So, the session table entry has been performed. Now, the second packet will be coming from the destination towards the source. And this is what? Sin plus ACK. Right? This sin plus act will be coming to the firewall. Every operation will be performed, but the policy lookup will not be happening this time. The policy lookup will not be happening this time. Why? Because this time before the policy lookup, we'll check the session table entry. Do we have any entry which says that from the GoLoosing's PC, towards the Google server, the traffic was allowed and you have the entry and on the basis of this entry, the policy lookup will be bypassed. And by doing this, you will be, this time the firewall will be taking half of the time to process this packet, that is one second. So total, how many packets were there? Everyone, 103 packets from which one packet is taking two seconds, rest 102 packets are taking 
वन सेकेंड मीन्स वन जीरो टू सेकेंड टोटल प्लस दिस टू सेकेंड so which one is the better one what you feel this 206 second processing or this 104 second processing which one is the better one yes yeah, second one second one so that's the feature of next generation firewall that is the reason we call it next generation firewall or faster this is how we create the session entry and this is this is this session table lookup is called stateful inspection what is called stateful inspection now in your interview the interview will ask what is the six double information which firewall maintains what is the stateful inspection what happens in the stateful inspection these all questions will be asked to you i hope you guys are like you guys will be able to answer these questions now everyone yeah now, now we can able to answer <laughs> right now you okay. know what are the six double information the firewall maintains in the session table right correct yes. but in the traditional firewall there is no any stateful inspection no 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 only the acl we can create yeah. that's all understood this or not everyone understood yes because understood right yes yes understood okay so if you understood that means you understood the next generation firewall now understand this definition what it says enhance the technology to protect our network from unwanted viruses and the malware first thing what it says because whenever we call about the next generation firewall the next generation firewall have the first feature is called stateful inspection with this it already have the capability of ips ids antivirus dos protection web filter content url and everything so with the help of these all technologies what we can do we can protect our network from unwanted viruses and the malware second thing a technology through which we can provide advanced security in our organization advanced security means the stateful inspection the capability of ips and ids capability of antivirus capability of vpns so you know what back in 2000 2005 what used to be there this is my source this is the destination this is the internet on the internet this destination is connected this source is connected with a switch this switch is connected with a router after the router they wanted so let's suppose this router is connected with the internet initially but over the time the requirement starts changing now they wanted a firewall also so they connected a firewall now they wanted a data leak prevention also dlp also they connected a dlp now they want ips ids also so they connected ips and then they connected ids they wanted antivirus also so they connected antivirus also they wanted url filtering also they connected one more box for the url filtering 
they want content one more box for content inspection they want vpn one more box for the vpn can you see how many boxes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and all of them are doing the processing so if the traffic has started from this particular source so it will go to switch then the router then the firewall then the dlp ips ids antivirus ul filtering you know content inspection vpn and then to the internet and then to the destination can you see how many hopes we are creating inside our lan see on the van there can be hundreds of hopes that is totally fine but inside my lan on the internet whatever hopes are there they are they are not processing your traffic they are just forwarding it but on my lan side i am just processing each and every packet so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 or 10 devices inside my lan so if one device is taken one second so 10 second delay in my inside my network so that's the reason if you are you have anyone in your family who is already working in the it from very 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 long you may heard saying them that that time or maybe you know uh, the people who used to work in the it that time in back in 2000 or maybe 2005 they used to say that we have slowness in our network why because we have too many devices so they feel proud if the slowness is there so if somebody says okay there is some slowness they say yeah there has to be slowness why because we have too many security available inside our network so do you think slowness is very slowness is good hmm not as it's not good and the the type the the way internet has evolved itself over the time if there is one you know there are there are applications if there will be one second delay they will close the communication and here i am taking 10 seconds delay right so over the time what has happened each and every vendor has started providing all of these technologies inside one platform similarly but all of them from all of them only the firewall has got the visibility or capability or you can say a recognition which have all the features of ips ids antivirus url filtering content and everything because why because firewall was already there in the organization so far what they had to do they had to just replace the firewall of theirs they have to fix place the next generation firewall instead of traditional traditional firewall they will be getting all of these technologies okay so do you understood now what is a firewall and what is a next generation firewall huh do you understand the difference or not everyone yes and yes, if sir. you will be going for yes. level 1 interview yes sir yes sir so if you will be going for level 1 interview in your coming days then this will be a question for you what do you understand or what is the difference between the firewall and the next generation firewall i hope now you can give the answer what is the difference between the firewall and the next generation firewall anyone have any doubt sir no sir no sir it's totally clear to everyone yes yeah. perfect now if you understood this then let me start this so till now it was not related to only uh, like checkpoint firewall that was related to security it was the basic basically right i have not i have not given you any anything related to checkpoint uh, till now so
okay now let's let's start the check you understood the checkpoint is a vendor in the network security uh, profile or network security feed they are doing a lot of things right they have the maestro they have a lot of things available in their in their bucket but mainly they are famous for the security architecture security things now why they are famous and what is the architecture they provide so first thing if you will be going for the checkpoint l1 level uh, uh, l1 level engineer they will you will be asked that what is the checkpoint architecture the checkpoint architecture is called smart architecture what is it 